that's madness, you know. I mean, at least he's got to show us he cares about this big hole in the ozone. And uh, you folks over here have got it worse than we have. Um, so what we do is try and, you know, encourage people like Greenpeace, Friends of the Earth, and there's an American animal group called uh, PETA, who, who we encourage. Just because I think it's the way of the future, you know, I think if we don't do stuff like that and don't address those issues, we're finished anyway. And there'll be no room for politicians or... or and people say, well, you know, they're, they're giving them cancer to try and find out about it all. Oh, my cup of tea. Thank you, cup. Um, but now, you know, the, the thing is that um, we know smoking gives you cancer, but they still use these monkeys and they still, you know. And I think it's unfair, and this organization stands for people for the ethical me than these other issues, but uh, I think someone's got to talk about it sometime. Or oh, we're finished. Fun? Yeah, really. I mean, you know, I'm, I'd, I'd be quite happy to shut up. Some people say to me, um, you, it's just to kind of uh, encourage your career. You know, you're just doing to sort of show off and to get the media. So I say, you know, if the politicians do it, if they tell us, look, you know, we're really onto this ozone hole and it's going to be closed within, I don't know, 10 years, but they don't give you any figures. They don't even appear to be uh, working on closing it down, you know, as far as I can see. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's good for me. I mean, I'm 50 now, you know, so I'm no kind of spring chicken. I'm not like when we started when I was like a little 17-year-old. I've got four kids, you know, so I'm interested in these things. Her Majesty, and well, when we met her, it was sort of touch your forelock, you know, and I probably still feel that way, but uh, what's happening is with the younger generation, with Fergie and Di and that, just goofing off like kids, um, it's all very well, except when you're royal, you're not supposed to do that, you know, because what it does is everyone then goes, yay, we don't care about that, they're just like us, and that's what's happened, you know, so uh, people have lost a lot of respect through some of these uh, revelations, some of those tapes. I mean, do you believe that stuff? You know, it doesn't do any good, I don't think, so, uh, but it's, it's not my problem. The drugs in general, um, I think the problem is these days, if kids get into drugs, it's a very hard scene these days. So I'd advise people not to get into it. I think if anyone is uh, caught with something like marijuana, which I don't see as the hard end of it, from my particular experience, I think maybe what the authorities might do is to decriminalize it rather than legalize it. I'm not sure legalizing it is a good thing. But I think that what you get it is you get in lots of prisons with kids in there who've just goofed around with some schoolmates and now they're becoming hardened criminals because they're with the real boys now and they're really learning.